All right, welcome back, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, we're doing some DLC. Um, well, as of right now, I, I've played through all the DLC except for the newest I'll one, you, actually. And um, I, I didn't record them. I thought I did. Uh, I only recorded the first and the third one. So the other night I went through and played the second one. And I think I'm just going to play through them. I don't know what order I'm going to do them in, but I'm going to upload them in the correct order. So, your intros may be a little different, but um, right now, tonight, today, uh, I'm going to play the... Uh, I think the price of survival is the newest one. Oh my god, I can't remember. I don't remember. Uh, so I've done the pillar, I've done the forge, I've done nightmare. Um, I want to say. Serpent's Heart. Here, let me go over to Steam real quick. See what it says. Price of Survival was February. Uh, Serpent's Heart was the newest one. Okay, so let's go Price of Survival tonight. So I've got to go find the Dragon Prince. Start the Dragon Prince thing. So I talked to Jonah, I think. Which is right down there. Hopefully the recording turns out okay. Uh, I've been having a hard time. Everything's been all choppy. Uh, it says I'm, 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 I'm a little tongue tied. Says I've had um, uh, overloaded, encoding overload or something, which the computer can definitely handle all of this. I don't know why that says that. That's new. But anyway, let's uh, let's get started. Let's just talk to Jonah. What are you two up to? Ucho and I are swapping scar stories. Jonah tells me you have a few yourself. <laughs> no great tales with mine, just me being callous. I got this one here from my cousin, Eli. Your cousin gave you that? And are you still speaking? Uh, <laughs> well, it wasn't my cousin exactly. It, uh, it was a worm that I... Perhaps I had to have been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. So what about you? That one looks like it's got a good story to go with it. What happened? A very ancient recipe. <laughs> if my recipes did that, I think I'd rather starve. <laughs> it is not that kind of recipe. This one was for a weapon. Ah, what sort of weapon? The White Breath. It is a poison found deep in the wilderness. Its effects would double our numbers without adding a single life. Just the thing the Rebellion needs to push back Amaru and his army. So what happened? I failed. You couldn't find it? No, my friend. I was not worthy. To master the recipe of the White Breath, you must traverse the path of fear. It is a treacherous place filled with terrible demons. You believe the White Breath could save rebel lives? Many, but that hope is lost now. I cannot go back. It is too dangerous. What if I went with you? We could get the recipe for the White Breath together. I appreciate your offer, Lara, but the path of fear must be taken alone. Then I'll go. I cannot ask you to do that. You didn't. I'm offering. No. Lara, maybe this isn't something you Uchu, should... Uchu, I can help. Please, let me. Take the passage through the water beneath this cave. It will lead you to the wilderness. From there, you're on your own. Let's do this. Ah, man, man. Had a really nice day today, weather-wise, and uh, 
Some jackass is burning something. Or a freaking campfire or something. <clears throat> Campfires are fun when you're camping, but to sit here and have to smell it all night when you're trying to relax inside your home, not so fun. Uh, three skip points. Cush of shells. Poison grenades. Ooh. I don't use plants. That's one thing I didn't do in this game at all, is the plants. I probably should have, huh? Oh well, right? Ah, that's really strong, that smoke. Unless there's some kind of forest fire and we're getting the smoke again like last year. Um... Probably want my. Wow, the fox is lower. And hold time damage is higher though. Suppressor and stuff on it. All these are lesser quality, I think. Uh, I don't care for the wasp. <clears throat> Platinum edition. Sedgwick. Change that out to that one. Get the double knife there. My outfits. I don't know if it'll let me change it. <clears throat> yeah. I can't yet because I'm still in the cave with these knuckleheads. adjustments in OBS to try to help improve quality a little bit. I was going to buy a new mic, but I read a lot of stuff that said that you don't have to. Um, I'm running the um, the Blue Yeti. All full up. Can't carry any more. The black, the black edition. And uh, I was going to upgrade my mic to a, a dynamic mic. Stop. So it'll stop picking up all the sound around me as far as the fans on the computer and uh, my AC unit and stuff in the summertime. I don't record a lot in the summer because the AC unit picks all that up, or the mic picks up the AC unit. Uh, but uh, I'm supposed to be able to use this mic, you can just adjust it in the uh, OBS uh, to, to drown all that out. Hopefully. Say down. It does say down. Where am I supposed to go? Is it right here? Supposedly, you can adjust it to get good quality out of this one, even though it's a beginner mic. Kind of. Um, 
The dynamic mics are pretty expensive. <laughs> Text from all my friends. So couldn't make it tonight. Yeah. It's supposed to be battlefield night tonight. I'm kind of getting a little fed up with that game, but I honestly do enjoy the battlefield nights with the guys, you know, and they got families and stuff, so. Sometimes families are burned, obviously, before gaming. I'm just wasting my time right here. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Is it down? Can I go down, down? <coughs> but, everybody's been uh, doing their own thing. And, uh, uh, that's fine. That's what it is. Where to go? <laughs> this thing doesn't explain shit. It's one thing I hate about this game is it doesn't fucking help you at all. You got your sight thing, and it does like highlights of, of different things, but it doesn't. Uh... rope I can swing on, but then what? Am I not supposed to be in this cave? I, I know I've been through here. I don't remember if I... Oh, I see it now. And then you gotta swing through. I get it now. Yay. <laughs> Took a second. We get there eventually. We take a minute. But anyway, I mean, it is what it is. You found the time with your family, but I had no clue that it was family night. And nobody told me. So I'm sitting here waiting. I didn't want to start this game because I figured as soon as I do, that would be when everybody jumps on and, and it's time to battlefield. And, uh,. I sat there waiting for like an hour, watched YouTube, uh, watched her out stream a little bit, and then he got done. His, his arm's all fucked up, but he had to call it a night to get some rest, and so I decided to text the guys and see what the fuck's going on. And he replied back, it's not a battlefield night. Here. Trying to figure out this tomb again. Even though we've already been here. Ooh, hello. This can't be the path of fear. I must have. Wait. This is nightmare. I did hello? nightmare already. Is this the right one? Can you hear me? This was the remembering back. I thought this was the nightmare one. This one's uh, it's a little weird. It was kind of hard if I remember right. So it's about time to rage. <laughs>
Why don't you be happy with what you have? Mom! There's sections in here that get really loud. up in this game uh, as far as like the, the sinking shit hopefully it's okay <laughs> I don't want to record this again I guess if I have to I have to Sensitive it was. And shots. You got a little bit of a little bit of it. Can't scroll. But I do have unlimited ammo.
don't like how you have to ADS in this game. Am I dead or is that supposed to happen? I don't remember. I think that was supposed to happen. Yeah. The monkey gods? You you mean oh the twins, God. Una this Hardy the, and Jevin? Uh, <laughs> this one's hard. Yes. It is believed they authored the recipe for the white breath as a means of revenge against the brothers who transformed them. Let's do it. Let's jump right in. I'll split it in half if I have to. Or we'll just run it. <coughs> Excuse me. Again. It's hitting that time of year. I'm starting to cough because of allergies. And probably because that asshole's burning something down the street. Huna Han and Hun Chevin must have traveled through here when they were banished from Paititi. No one's been through here in centuries. There it goes. This is the dude. <laughs> whoop, whoop. So there's a couple sections in this that are really hard <clears throat> for me. Oh shit, oh shit. hard because of the platforming in this game. Uh, the mechanics aren't so nice. And uh, I have a hard time with it sometimes. But we'll give it a shot. The Valley of the Monkey Gods. It's a massive fault line. Must have fractured centuries ago. A perfect place to hide if you wanted to disappear like the monkey twins did. 
See, it's meant for two people. One person pops that bridge up there, so you uh, can climb across it. But in this one, you just kind of run down the side here. It's a solo at the moment. Just kind of make do with what you got, you know? Oh shit, no, 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 fuck. Luckily, you start right up at the top. <laughs> So stupid. See, that's what I'm talking about. The Valley of the Monkey Gods. It's a massive fault line. It must have fractured centuries ago. A perfect place to hide if you wanted to disappear like the Monkey Twins did. I don't understand games like this that, that do... I mean, I've probably said it before. It's nothing you haven't heard from me. And maybe I'm overthinking uh, Uncharted, but I feel like Uncharted did it so much better with the platforming. But maybe it didn't. Maybe, maybe it was full of uh, missed jumps and bugs like that, too. This place is falling apart, being exposed on the cliff sides like this. I'm so amazed any of it's still here. here. This way. Oh, can I read that? Yep. Nice. Hunahan and Hunchevin. Those statues are enormous. This has to be a gate to something. Gate to where? I think this is from. Yeah, so you jump down from there. This way. That's to open the gate for your buddy. This way. This looks like a wooden turban. It right. seems to be jammed. What does this turban power, I wonder? This should be around the backside? Yeah. Remember kinda? Some of this. There's a letter to read. Damn, there's no way forward. must be using the valley wind to power some sort of instrument. Push these in, and I, we thought when we did single player, we thought this was the right. I know there was a time section. Okay, 
This is where it's gonna get tough because I I forgot, I don't remember which way to go. This is gonna pound. That's gonna pound. Is it over here? That other one is so your part partner can jump over when you're doing multi. I just don't remember. something over this way somehow.
that, can I? That did it. Did what? The turban must be using the valley wind to power some sort of instrument. All that does is block that side over there. jump over here. I'm missing something. Unless... Maybe I just didn't run all the way? Okay. There we go. 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 Drop. It was in there, I think. Yeah. There. here. I 
something, but whatever. could sit on the front of it probably not the vibrations would probably kill me the turban must be using the valley wind to power some sort of instrument Fellas. Welcome back. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. She found it. Here, the white breath. Strange. If such a small thing can hold such great power. I hope it gives the rebellion the advantage it needs over Amaru and his cult. I think we both know that it will. Uchu, I still think you owe us a story. Because I'm trying to put that scar and a recipe in the same equation. I don't really think there's anything to tell. Okay, guys. That's it. Scales of the Feathered Serpent. I think I've got all the gear. Oh, I can't do anything about it in this one, though. Um, this campfire. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming along. Uh, it's been fun. And we will pick it up very soon at the Serpent's Heart. See you then. Thanks for coming. Bye.